L7, this video about lines of symmetry. Line of symmetry means you can fold the object so it's the same on both sides. You're kind of seeing a mirror image. Most of them would be vertical or horizontal lines, but not always. So let me get my line maker. Now we're here on the trapezoid. It's going to have a vertical line of Symmetry, because I could fold this side over here, and it would be exactly the same. I cannot do a horizontal line, because the top half would be smaller than the bottom half. Thero also only has one line of symmetry. Pac-Man has got one going like this. The diamond rhombus is going to have two. The heart's going to have one, because you guys know you probably have folded a paper a bunch of times like that, where you just cut that shape right there out. And over here, because he's got these corners cut off, he only has one going that way. Let's try a couple more. Parallelogram, you would think you would be able to draw a line across there. It does not work. This triangle has three equal sides. So that means it's going to have three lines of symmetry. One from each vertex through to the middle of the other side. And if I did it right, they should all meet right in the middle. Lightning bolt would not have a line of symmetry. I mean, look, if I draw a line through there, is it the same on both sides? No, like there's a square part right there, and he's got a triangle kind of thing. If you have a circle, it has an infinite amount of lines. I could keep going all day to infinity and beyond. And down here I have a circle that has the smiley face on it. So this time there's only one because that way I'm going to get an eye on each side and half of a smile on each side. This shape has one coming back this way. This triangle looks like it has one coming right through the middle. This triangle is not going to have any. So every shape does not have a line of symmetry. Here's where we get tricky. How many equal sides do you see here? Five. If I have five equal sides on my pentagon, I'm going to go from each vertex to the midpoint of the other side. And like I said, if you do it pretty well, they should all end up pretty much in the same place. Rainbow macaroni has one vertical line because I could fold that over. This star down here pretty much fits inside this pentagon. So again, we're going to have those same five lines. And they should fit to where they all hit on that one middle point. However many equal sides you have, that's how many lines of symmetry. This guy's going to have two, because he's got two sets of equal sides. This guy's only going to have one going this way because I have to split that triangle in half, and I can't split the triangle in half a different way. All right, the square and the rectangle. You just have to memorize these. He's going to have two, the rectangle, because I cannot make that diagonal fold. It does not work. That's why for origami and stuff, they start you out with the square paper, because then you can make that first diagonal fold and make triangles. This guy has one. He has one. This one guy has none because he's got an arrow on this side. And no, I cannot draw like that. That would not be a line. And the one that looks sort of like the teardrop is going to be right there. Lines of symmetry. You can fold them so they're the same on both sides. If I had six equal sides, six lines of symmetry. Symmetry, not cemetery. 12 equal sides, 12 lines of symmetry.